It's Saturday night and you've ordered a takeaway from your local restaurant. They whip it up in between serving sitting customers and their delivery driver brings it round to you. That might be what's happening at the moment, but believe me, as Bob Dylan once said, the times, they are a-changing. I keep an eye on emerging trends and I predict that soon all our delivery food is going to be made in virtual restaurants. And when the times change, new business opportunities arise. Oh, how I love new business opportunities. So get ahead of the curve and check out today's seven hacks. We're going to look at how to set up a virtual restaurant and don't forget you heard about it here first. One, new kitchen. The first thing to get your head around is that virtual restaurants operate out of fully equipped, leased or rented commercial kitchens, but have no restaurant floor or takeaway counter. You order your food via an app and a third party delivery service will ensure the food gets whisked to the customer. Virtual restaurants don't have the overheads of owning a bricks and mortar business. They don't have to be based in pricey parts of town and they don't have to pay for costly refurbs, long leases or signage. On, and of course, they don't have to pay for waiting staff. 2. Express delivery Running a virtual restaurant is a completely different kettle of fish to running a sit-in restaurant. Think of how you can get your food from the kitchen to your customers' kitchens without losing any of the quality. Focus on the time it'll take and the temperature of the food. There's nothing worse than ordering food and it arrives lukewarm. Research containers to transport it in and don't forget there is a growing movement away from single-use plastic. Can you think of ways to go greener? 3. Corner the market Who are you aiming to serve? Where is the gap in the market that you'd like to fill? We know that food allergies and intolerances are rising. Would your USP be gluten or dairy free? Could you offer students something they're missing? Cheerful, wholesome favourites at a good price? Or would you target busy professionals with more disposable income? Study the market and check out your rivals. Is your local area already saturated with good Italian or Indian options? Then perhaps you need to offer something completely different. 4. Build your brand Social media and the internet are your best friends when it comes to building your brand. It's worth using a professional to help you with a logo and a website. It's the first introduction potential customers will have with you so you want to make sure it reels them in. Get your menu online too. Social media is a fantastic way to announce your arrival. You could do a countdown to opening on Facebook groups. Launch with online special offers and once you're up and running, encourage customers to leave reviews and recommend you. We all know social media is the modern equivalent of word of mouth, so use it. Connect with customers through Instagram and Snapchat too. 5. Appy Days Customers order from virtual restaurants through third-party delivery apps like Just Eat, Deliveroo or Uber Eats. They place the order, you make it, Hand it over to your delivery partner who takes it to the customer. Industry analysts, the NPD Group, say the UK market for delivered food has grown 50% since 2008, reaching 599 million delivery visits in 2017. That's only going to continue to grow. Research which app or apps you want to team up with. 6. Cooking with gas When it comes to starting out, don't go overboard. Keep it simple. Have a smallish menu where everything can be made well, rather than hundreds of options that you won't have done to such a high standard. Limit waste as much as you can. Every single item of food that ends up in the bin costs you money rather than making you money. One way of doing this is having a few options that require similar ingredients taste all your recipes. 7. Bubble along nicely Once you're up and running, you can tweak things as you go. You might be able to add more dishes or ditch ones from the menu if they aren't popular. Ask your customers for feedback. They are the ones who can tell you if you have a product market fit. So, in today's 7 hacks, you've learned about setting up a virtual restaurant. You probably didn't even know that virtual restaurants was a thing till you clicked on this video. And talking of learning about other business opportunities that are out there and making the most of them, 
make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's got all the advice, info and help you'll need.